My childhood was that of a rough one. My mother, a heavy drinker and a stuck-up bitch, would sometimes take my games away and lock them up. In this video, I'll be telling you not only how awful my mother is, but also what games she took. But hey, you. Welcome to Fat Cunt. Ten games that my mum threw away for underlying nudist themes. Number five! Duke Nukem was a game that my mum was not very happy with. There are a lot of bad words, and worst of all, naked women. Playing this game was like having a birthday party every day. In my pants! Sadly for me, while I was jerking off one night and playing the game, my mom barged into my room to give me my nightly Spongebob mac and cheese. She instantly realized that I was hobbing me knob and took the game away. Very sad indeed. After that, I never looked at Spongebob mac and cheese the same way ever again. Number four. Graduate school was a very hard part of my life. Grand Theft Auto 4 was a game that my mother did not want me to get. She protested it for weeks before I could finally convince her that I wasn't going to turn into a freak murderer. But silly as I was, I installed what was called the Hot Coffee mod into the game as soon as I got it. My mother was not pleased and ended up locking the game in a room that she called the home. Very weird. To this day, I still do not know what is in there, but I sometimes hear the screams. <laughs> Number three. Postal is a game where I killed hundreds of people on a bloody rampage. Children screamed, women cried, and people cowered in fear as I ripped their hearts out and watched the life drain from their eyes. My murderous rampage was finally stopped when I decided to take my rage out on some school children. But when I strutted up the steps of the elementary school, I couldn't actually hurt the kids. I decided to take off my VR goggles for a break. When I realized something, I inspected my gaming gear quizzically, and to my shock, I looked down to a pair of beach goggles. <laughs> Number two. My memory might be a bit foggy, but when I looked up the old manhunt I used to play as a lad, I only found this website with equally lurid imagery of men. Though the manhunt I knew was oriented around a snuff filmmaker sending you out in a killing spree, this remake is apparently the world's biggest place for men seeking men. Manhunt could be like a game of hide and seek, only you'd kill the men after they had been sought out. In the remastering though, Instead of pouring scalding hot oil on your victim, you lather lukewarm massage oil on them? Odd change of pace. All the sharp objects in the game have also been replaced with more phallic tools for a different kind of penetration. On the bright side, this new online multiplayer has me hook, line, and sinker. One player character I found, a Mr. Mark Wolf, was a hot, Canadian bodybuilder with a passion for fashion. He loves getting suits tailored for all his business needs. Most of his scenes involve him stripping down out of set attire to admire his impressive chiseled body. And trust me, when you see that body, you're gonna know he's a hottie. <laughs> Number one! All right, so story time. Back in the 90s, when I was just a wee lad, I got big into the game Doom. I used to browse all the cool Doom forms and make all sorts of crazy, zany modifications in the game. 
As I was amassing a following, two blokes took a liking to the way I designed me maps. They had me make them a couple maps and had a right good time playing on them. Suddenly, one day, I come into me den and see that there had been a shooting at Columbine High School. I knew immediately that the Eric and Dylan I had met online were the same scoundrels that had committed the heinous act and I had aided and abetted them by making them those maps of their school to train on. I couldn't live with these pent up feelings. I had to fess up. I looked to me mum, whose eyes was trained on the telly, and I said to her, Mum, I have a confession to make. I've been using manhunt.net, that's manhunt.net, to find some of the hottest studs in Slough, and I've met the men of my dreams, Bobby Blake and Flex Dion. My mother was stunned which quickly boiled over into fury at the thought that she would never have any grandkids. She promptly took away my copy of Doom, as she thought this was a means for the demonic agents of Satan to enter into her home and then into my Christian cult. What the fuck, Mom? You know what? Maybe I want that! Maybe I want an imp to make me his gimp! Maybe I want to suck down on some cyber demon, cyber semen! Maybe I want to burn in hell! Ah!